Welcome back, this is Sierra, and today, as you guys can tell, I'm filming in my kitchen because I have a holiday recipe that I want to share with you. So without further ado, let's play the intro and then let's get started. Hey guys, okay, so as I already said, I'm going to be doing a recipe test today, and the recipe that I'm going to be doing actually comes from another YouTuber who I'm a big fan of, and she really, really helped me to learn a lot about vegan cooking, and I use a lot of her recipes in my own cooking. So that recipe that I'm talking about comes from Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. Sarah, if you're watching, hi, I'm really excited that you're watching my channel, that means a lot to me. Um, anyways, the recipe that I'm making today is her peppermint chocolate vegan granola, and I'm making this recipe, I've made this recipe multiple times because last year I actually made it and then used it as gifts for my family and they loved it and I'm going to a party tomorrow and we're having a gift exchange and I really wanted to make something not only vegan but also like semi-allergy friendly and just like homemade and special and so that's what I'm going to do this year. I know I gave this gift last year but I gave it to all my family last year and not so much friends and now that we live in a new place it really doesn't matter. So anyways, without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna start out first with the granola. This recipe is pretty kind of like dump and mix, which I really love about it. So first we're gonna take three cups of rolled oats. Make sure you use rolled oats and not the quick oats because I tried it with quick oats once and it did not go so well. All right, next we're gonna add our cocoa powder. We'll add a third cup of cocoa powder and a quarter cup of coconut oil. I know, I know, my spatula is not perfect. I had a run-in with the Vitamix that I prefer not to talk about actually. All right, now we're gonna add about a third cup maple syrup. I haven't tried it, but you probably could use agave nectar if you wanted to, just whatever one you have on hand. I actually haven't really looked for agave nectar in Japan, so I couldn't even tell you if we have it, but I got this big maple syrup at Costco. I was also wondering the other day, I wonder if you could use like a simple syrup or like a sugar syrup of some kind to make this if you didn't have access to maple syrup, I don't know. Now we're gonna add the coconut sugar. Now this is the part where like I get lazy with my measuring. I'm actually not gonna really measure this. Um, and actually I'm using raw sugar instead of coconut sugar because I don't have any coconut sugar. Honestly, I used raw sugar last year and nobody cared, so. Two, three. Okay, now I'm gonna add the salt. We need a half teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add the salt shaker because I don't know, some people in their kitchens have little, like, baking salts. I just take it out of the regular salt container. All right, now we're gonna add the vanilla and the peppermint extract. Now, I have heard, I'm actually gonna try it with another recipe, um, because I know I don't have enough peppermint extract. Couldn't find any at the commissary. Couldn't find any anywhere off base or anywhere in Japan, except for Amazon. I need it before Amazon. So, all right. Next, we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I should probably put the lid on that, huh? That's gonna make a massive mess. Okay, and then I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of peppermint extract. Maybe if I can get it open. There we go. Now I have heard that you can use peppermint essential oil and I'm probably gonna have to for some of my gifts just because I only have about half a bottle of this left, but I just don't really know the ratio. So if anyone knows the ratio of essential oil to like a teaspoon of peppermint oil, a peppermint extract, please let me know, because I need to know that. All right, peppermint is in. Oh, it smells so good. I don't recommend drinking peppermint extract, but I really want to. All right, and so now we have all our ingredients in the bowl, and then we're gonna mix them up. I always like to start with my spatula, just because for me, I find it a little bit easier to kind of like chop up the coconut oil. Um, and I also, that way, I don't feel like it doesn't stain my hands as much with the cocoa. But first you have to stir it just a little bit. And then after that, Sarah says in her video that you have to get in there with your hands and work it in. Which I, the first time I made this, didn't want to get dirty. And I realized that that was probably a really stupid idea to try not to get dirty. Because my granola just wasn't 
I don't know, it wasn't like wet enough or oily enough or whatever you call it. And it's because, well, I didn't stir in enough of the coconut oil. Um, I think the trick is that the coconut oil has to melt in with your hands and then you have to win by, by working it into the oatmeal. I think it changes the texture of the oatmeal a little bit. All right, I think that's as far as I can go. So now I'm gonna whip it on the side and then I'm going in. All right, I don't know how much further I can roll up my sleeves, but all right, let's go in. It feels really weird. Uh, last year I made this, I remember afterwards my hands smelled really good. I don't know if you guys have ever smelled like a peppermint mocha candle or like, it kind of reminded me of the smell of a peppermint mocha latte. It's oh, so good. Soy, of course. So you just keep massaging it. And basically you know that it's done when the texture doesn't feel like raw oatmeal anymore. It just kind of feels like wet raw oatmeal or something like that. I don't know, when you make this recipe, you'll know what I mean. Like it'll just feel different and that's how you know that you're done. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Just want to eat it now, which I mean, it's a vegan recipe, you totally could. You guys can kind of see already, like the texture looks a little bit different. I'll see if I can move it a little bit closer to the camera. It's pretty much ready. I think I just need a couple more seconds of kneading. Okay, now to me it's kind of looking like dry, no bake cookies, and so that's how I know that it's at the right place. Um, if you're really not sure, just kind of feel around and feel if you have any extra those big chunks of coconut oil. If you don't have any more chunks of coconut oil, that means it's probably melted from your hand heat enough to get into all the oatmeal. There we go. Alright, as you can see, I'm a huge mess. I'm going to scrape off my hands as much as I can, and then I am going to take a little break and then bring out the cookie sheet and show you guys how I put it in the cookie sheet. Everybody, now I have my lined baking sheet with parchment paper. So those of you who are my zero waste friends that watch the channel, yes, I do use parchment paper because a few reasons I'm not really convinced that silicon is safe. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put the granola directly onto the baking sheet. Alright guys, now is the time to get dirty again. There's a couple of approaches you can take to making this granola. Um, first thing you can do is you can just kind of even it out like this and cook it, but it pretty much entirely depends on the type of granola that you like. I really like a very chunky granola and crunchy granola, and so what I do is I even it out a little bit at first, and then just like Sarah said in her video, push down on it, so that way it's kind of all clumped together. Now, if you have a convection oven, you might actually not have to do this, but I don't have a convection oven because we're not so fancy around here. So you're gonna put it in your oven this way for 20 minutes and then take it out and then flip it the other way for 25 minutes or so. Um, one thing you do need to, real, need to think about is how quickly and how hot your oven is because your temperature might be a little bit different than mine. Um, use your nose if it smells like it's burning, it probably is. All right, let's get this in the oven. Okay guys, we're back now, like my face, not just my hands. Um, all right, so my granola is now cooling over on the counter and so it'll be a while before I can taste it. At the end of the video, I'll put a little clip of like a serving suggestion, but um, anyways, if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button so you get a notification every single time I post something new and exciting. Also, if you like cooking demos and cooking videos from me, just go ahead and let me know and I will see if I can make some more of them. All right, thank you guys for watching, bye.